In this short video, I'm going to show you guys a neat 9 volt battery hack that can get you out of a bind in a jiffy. Don't you just hate it? You know, you've got your device that uses a 9 volt battery. It's got one of these clips on it. And you go to replace it and one of the clips breaks off. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I know I sure do. Now, I have some spare clips, but it's not like you can just go down to Radio Shack and pick some up these days because uh, Radio Shack's not around anymore and not too many places have 9 volt battery clips. Sure, you can order them, but what if you need one now? Well, I'm going to show you guys how you can get one and you've already got one in your hand. That dead battery that you just took out from the device that you were uh, going to change the battery on. There's a clip right here. We can take it out. All we need is to take the battery apart and um, we can recover the clip from it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, we need to get into the battery. These batteries are generally pretty easy to get into. All you need is a pair of pliers or cutters and you can generally pry open the base right at the seam. So just get your cutters, grab it, and give, it a give it a twist the battery will come apart just like that to reveal ta-da six quadruple A cells now not all of them are like this some of the new batteries I'll show you what some of the new ones look like one of the new energizers and you see the cells on this one so they've gone from cylindrical cells to pancake cells but it's the same and this is a sealed unit itself the battery terminal would, would have sat on top and it was connected there was a strap that ran around the side but anyway it doesn't matter they're all the same all you need to do is now take your your tabs and cut them now you have a battery terminal that you can now reconnect to your device now which terminal is which you need to know that so you know which wire to connect to which terminal I'll show you the positive wire goes to the connector that has the spring clips. The negative goes to the smaller terminal. We can verify that by just using the meter. Positive terminal, positive. Negative terminal to negative. So all you need to do is attach your wires. Your existing wires will be fine. That, that are broken off on the device but attach the red wire to the positive terminal and attach the black wire to the negative terminal and that's it now you have a new clip you don't have to hunt for one throw a bit of black tape on the back of it and you are good to go you've now got a new clip that'll last until it breaks again there you go and there's the two different types of cells. These are older ones. This is, I think, what all the newer ones look like. This is a really old battery, this one here. It's been, I don't know how old this one is, but this is very old. This battery is probably 10 years old. And made in USA. It's probably a better battery. This uh, Energizer was made in China, I'm sure. Anyway, that's that's the new style. They're sealed, right? This is, in a, this is a sealed package so that they don't separate. These other ones, you could actually separate the cells if you wanted to have some small cells like for devices that needed the smaller batteries that these ones you, you could actually open these ones up and get the battery get the cells out like on a new battery you could open these up and then you had six these are what we call a quadruple a size battery you could pull the tabs off them and you had six quadruple A cells. Anyway, that's all I've got on this one. Just wanted to show you guys. If you need a battery clip, you've already got one in an old battery. Thanks for watching.